Right boys and girls, here we are again. And as promised about half an hour ago, I said I'd just briefly go over what I've actually done with the bike so far. Like I said, I've um, sprayed liberal amounts of WD-40 all over everywhere. Um, all over the complete, in fact before I even took it off my trailer when I got home, I, I sprayed about two pints of WD-40 all over it. Absolutely lashings and lashings of WD-40. And um, since then, I've you know I've done a couple of more applications, and uh, it's amazing how much crud came off with it. Um, a lot of dirt and bits of grime and general flakes of rust and all sorts came off with it. So, anyway, what I've done so far, one of the things you may not have noticed from this shot, but as I get in closer, you will see that there is a little brass plaque on the oil tank and that brass plaque states in no uncertain terms as far as is reasonably possible keep oil tank full so I filled the oil tank like I said earlier I used oil I got lying around there was a litre of SAE 30 that I chucked in that was for my lawnmower now I need to get some more lawnmower oil and um, topped it up with 2050s that I used for my commando um, I filled the gearbox with 2050s at this, you can see the gearbox drain plug here, um, just opened it up, can't really see anything inside so I filled it full all the way up to the top with oil and um, put the cap back on and left it at that. Uh, I then, uh, as I go around the other side, I'll show you, I just um, I took the plug out and um, I squirted some oil in there. I, I, the piston was roughly at the top dead centre and I filled it up um, till it was coming out of the plug hole, put the plug back in and left it. Uh, that was about it actually for oil. And um, lashings more WD-40 at the same time. I keep saying WD-40, the stuff I use is same sort of thing, penetrating lubricating fluid. But it isn't WD-40, it's some other make um, that I buy relatively cheaply in, um, you know, well I was going to say a gallon container but it's 4 litres or whatever it is they sell it in nowadays. Uh, what I did notice after I finished the oil tank is this little plug here on top the oil pump is in here. Um, you can see the two pipes coming in here and here I'm not sure which is feed and return at this moment in time I haven't quite worked it out point the camera where my finger is um, and I did notice coming out of here um, a smear of oil black old but still when you get it in your fingers and you can feel it it's still lubricating oil but it was black and it was definitely old so I took this cap off um, as you can see it's still on my finger tight and I just let the oil flow all the way through and it drained the oil tank and I've collected it all in a tray underneath obviously um, and it came out the clean oil started coming through mixed up with all black oil um, and drained the oil tank completely so there's like a couple of litres of um, fresh new oil gone through there uh, and that's I don't know, it's cleaned something out, but I'm planning on cleaning all the oil lines out completely before um, I attempt to start it. Uh, the other thing, when I filled the gearbox, um, I started turning the engine over, the, the kickstart wouldn't kick over, it felt like it was locked in the gearbox somewhere. So I turned the engine over, I just got me a uh, trusty 5H liquid socket on the end of the crankshaft here, on this nut here, and just turned it over and over and over and over till I got bored. Um, because I've filled oil in the plug hole, there was oil came out of the plug hole, oil came out of the exhaust ports, dribbled all over here everywhere. I'm not bothered about getting oil dribbled on the bike because it'll um, oil stops rust, oil lubricates things, metal things like oil, um, basically. Once I turned it over for a bit, I could then found I could kick it over. So I kicked it over repeatedly, 
and uh, for a while until I got bored with that and then um, what I did notice the um, gearbox oil um, the level had dropped so I filled it up again uh, this is a couple of days ago now I looked earlier today before I started doing the videos um, and the gearbox is still full of oil so gearbox is happy it's got oil in um, there's some circulated around obviously while I've been kicking it um, and turning the engine over and um, hopefully the gearbox is nicely lubricated inside now this side um, after I've done all this I turned the crank over got back on to the crankshaft turned it over till the piston was at bottom dead center and um, filled the oil right up to the top um, I had a look before I started this video and it's still full up to the top which is a good sign as far as I can tell in uh, the oil's not actually leaking past the rings uh, it may be I hope just a little bit going through lubricating the rings and everything um, but it's it boards well for um, compression um, if the oil's not leaking past the rings maybe I don't need new rings which brings me to what I intend doing with this bike um, actually before I go on to what I intend doing with this bike I'm gonna just point out the other I mean I've wiped it bits of it down with a rag once the WD-40 was on and lots of crud and all sorts came off with me rag um, and I thought well I'll stop here because I want to kind of keep a, a video diary of the everything I do with this bike so before I do any more I better get my video egg together um, so I stopped at that but what I did do um, the girders on the front here weren't girding um, when I got the bike they were lock solid um, there was no movement, movement in them at all so um, just I'm gonna step back from that thought for a minute and just state that when I got the bike this was what it looked like I've cleaned this bit up um, like I said WD-40 but you can see the surface rust um, you know it's sort of on of all over um, some you can see the state of the handlebars some of it is a bit more than surface rust some of it is like serious rust um, but everything worked apart from the girders which like I say didn't gird or didn't spring or didn't bounce or whatever it is they're supposed to do um, the grease nipples uh, are some ancient design that my grease gum won't fit on so I couldn't grease anything but what I did do is I was looking at it all and I noticed this rascal here this thread sticking out which looked to me to be completely rusted up but anyway I got the uh, little spray gun out squirted a load of WD-40 on it and uh, I've got a brass wire brush that I attacked it with and lo and behold once I'd sprayed loads of WD-40 on and give it a good going over with a brass wire brush like I say um, these lovely nice fine presumed cycle threads began to appear so oh uh, I got the uh, relevant size socket on here um, undid it took the nut off all, all the um, it's a friction device for um, Stiffening your suspension. Uh, I don't know whether it's compression or rebound it's adjusting, but it, it just tightens everything up. Anyway, it came off nicely. Like as you can see, I've just tightened it up and I can't get it off again. Look how that turns. How's that for 88 years? And it still turns lovely with finger. Um, I took this nut off, I took this friction plate off. Um, put that back on I took this nut off um, cleaned it all up liberal application of uh, copper slip here and there go around the other side uh, this is the head of the bolt that goes all the way through these turn nicely both sides took all this off cleaned it all up and you can see now how this bit is noticeably cleaner 
than all the rest of it kind of thing because I did clean it up again just all with a wire brush and a liberal application of WD-40 and um, same again at the top cleaned all them up then um, pushed the bolts through I just had to tap them gently with a copper mallet and the bolts slide in and out nicely turn around um, so liberal applications of copper slip all over the place and put it all back together I've just done everything up finger tight and then gave it a quick nip with a socket um, but one interesting thing uh, it was on this nut here you can see the front nut all these sort of flaky bits are the chrome that's peeling off the original nut and when I first got the bike when I was first looking over it there was a piece of flake sticking out here and a couple of flakes over this side and I was looking at it uh, sorry I'll do that again when it's in camera shot there was some flakes of chrome sticking out here and on the top and round this side oh, I'm like oh, that's some weird looking um, tab washer it looks very very thin I suspect it's probably all corroded away um, but like I say once I started spraying WD-40 on it and all this crud started coming off I could then see that it was actually it wasn't a tab washer at all it was just flakes of chrome anyway like I say I've had all the, I haven't taken the girders apart or taken the spindles out I've just slackened everything off taken the nuts off move the spindles in and out liberal applications of copper slip everywhere put it all back together um, so that basically is all what I've done to it so far really um, as you can see you know we look in here there's lots of crud not very much rust plenty of crud um, needs a good clean um, and that brings me nicely onto what I intend to do with the bike so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video here and I'm going to um, start another video at some point in the future either in the next 10 minutes or the next few hours or the next few days um, I'll make another video and I'll just go through and discuss what I would like to do with this bike okay see you later folks